Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Beauty by AJ and this video will be a tutorial about the braid pattern I used to achieve my versatile crochet butterfly locks that I had in my last video. So I already blow dried my hair. As you can see, um, my roots are still coily, but it'll do. Um, but the first thing that I do is split my hair into two sections from ear to ear. So I'm gonna focus on the front half of my hair first. You see that I am parting the front half into rows as if I was doing cornrows. And I made two to three sections within each row. As you can see, I have my first section already parted, but for each section, I use edge booster gel and a brush to smooth down my roots. Then I tie the section with a rubber band. So for the second section, again, I made a clean part and smoothed my roots with gel and a brush, but this time I included the previous section when I tie the rubber band. This will connect each section together and give the illusion of individual butterfly locks. So in this clip, I'm repeating the same steps, but in a different row. You're gonna tie the first section off with a rubber band, and then you're gonna combine it with the second section once you tie the second section with the rubber band. And you're gonna continue to do this with the following sections. Now you could do this method with braids or twist instead of rubber bands, but it's up to you. Um, if you do use rubber bands, just make sure that they're not too tight or too close to your scalp because you won't be able to put the crochet hook nor the butterfly lock through. As you can see, my hair is very tight and that's not what you want. I twist the hair from the first section when I combine it to the second section. That way I won't have any loose hairs. And this helps to ensure that this style is truly protective because no hairs are left out. Now onto the bottom half. So for the bottom half, I cornrow two rows together from the front half all the way down. And now repeat this until the bottom half is done. So you can see the width of my sections really good here. The size of your sections will depend on the crochet hair that you will be using. For the crochet butterfly locks that I had, these sections were way too small and I would have had too much volume toward the front of my head. A good tip that I have seen is to make your sections and then hold up the crochet hair near your scalp to see if it looks natural and like it would come out of your scalp that way. And this will let you know if it looks like it could be individual crochet locks. And that way you won't figure it out when it's too late. Do y'all see these inches though? I did not know my hair was getting this long. I'm so excited. 
But anyway, once I'm done corn rowing, I braid the ends of each row together and tuck the remaining hair into the braids so that it lays flat. But you could sew it down or use a crochet hook to weave it through. And that's it. It's really not hard, but let me know if you try it and what your thoughts are about it. Make sure you like this video and are subscribed to my channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my video next time.